the 1972 championship season featured NASCAR's first sponsor, and the Winstop Cup championship race was born. Also in the 1970s, television companies began to fully approach the sport, although they had hesitantly looked into NASCARs in the 1960s. The first live number television production of NASCAR Winston Cup Series occurred in the when CBS Sports broadcasted two 25-mile qualifying races for the Daytona 500. ABC also joined the action in the 1960s. In 1971, the first fully featured NASCAR race was born was shown on ABC and lasted for an hour and 16 minutes. The pursuit the purse boosted the television money was $20,000, a record for NASCAR's 100 miler, and a 1979 Daytona 500, one of the most remarkable events of NASCAR, was broadcasted on the country as CBS filmed the race. The race came down to the final lap. Two veteran drivers, Donnie Allison and Cale Yarborough, ran 1-2 as they made the last stretch. Yarborough moved to the inside along Allison. Allison turned left, attempting to turn Yarborough into the center of the track and force him to fall back. But Yarborough did not move. The cars hit, hit again, then flew onto the outside wall. They drifted down to the infield, where both racers met. Bobby Allison went down to the infield after the race to check on his brother and ended up getting in a fight with Yarborough. Yarborough proclaimed Bobby had slowed on the final lap to act as a block for his brother. As Yarborough describes, when Bobby stopped, I went over and asked him why he did what he did. He bowed up and I swung at him. The showing received incredibly high ratings and extreme popularity across the country. Newsweek even featured an article and a picture. In the 1980s, NASCAR continued a streak of popularity and even more people viewed the number of races on TV. By 1989, nearly every race in the top series was televised nationwide. More new sponsors joined the interest in NASCAR, and a decade of famous racers was born. In the 1970s, higher gasoline prices, prices forced the nation to resort to smaller cars, and in the 1980s, NASCAR was forced to follow. However, these small cars were trickier to manu maneuver and difficult to set up. In the 1990s, Dale Earnhardt continued his winning streak and eventually won the NASCAR championship trophy. The number of tracks expanded across the country, and new television partners helped to increase ratings and overall viewing. Race money grew incredibly as winners received almost twice as much as in 1999 than in 1990. But most importantly was the integration of NASCAR into stores across America and the rest of the world. NASCAR Thunderstores, NASCAR Cafe, NASCAR Online, and even books to video games filled the minds of NASCAR fanatics of all ages. In the new millennium, NASCAR legends grew even more popular, but one of the worst moments in NASCAR history occurred on February 18, 2001. Dale Earthhard Sr was a seven-time series champion and one of the most famous racers in NASCAR history. As the cars entered, as the cars entered turn three on the final lap, Earthheart's car abruptly veered down the track, then backed up for unknown reasons. He crashed into the barrier about 13 to 14 degrees angle and at approximately 157 to 160 miles per hour. The car crash led to greater safety improvements in the areas of NASCAR. Today, NASCAR has become a sports industry like no other. Memorabilia for almost every race and every racer line store shelves. Attendance at the season's 36 points event topped 6.8 million in the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series. Safety and technology has greatly improved from the beginning. The sport will continue to grow in every way possible and will always be one of the most popular sports across the world. Hey, roll. in response to a growing popularity of NASCAR.
side and I'm back. <laughs> I'm bumper to bumper right on the track. Oh. Spiders in turn my off, mind are telling me to go. Gotta watch those RPMs so my engine don't blow. <laughs> Fire <laughs> goes down just in front of me. Smoke is all around and I can't see. One can't just fire and another hits a lot on the one can win and the others have to fall. Go, go, go. It's a hazard to us. We can't get enough. Go, go, go. Town to town, well, as I always a rush. Ain't no caution here. It's all. Oh, we're actually doing a history project. So you might be a footage of here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to 